Hey everyone, welcome to this next video on the UCX series and the second part of the table migration flow. I'm Andres Zuniga, and in this video, we'll be covering the next commands required to be executed before proceeding with the table migration. These commands are going to be focused on authentication and access, so we need to deploy and configure a lot of things on the cloud. Small disclaimer here, this video will be focused specifically on the Azure cloud. Functionality and usage of commands will vary depending on the cloud that you're using, so make sure to follow the correct guide. Let's get started. First, it's useful to understand where we're at. That is, what we have done so far, what we are going to do in this step, and what's missing for the next video. As you can see here, we have already completed the table mapping. So UCX knows what our desired design is. So now we need to execute the four commands in the red box. Let's understand what each of these is going to do. Our first stop is the principal prefix access command. To execute this and the following terminal commands, we'll need the appropriate authentication. In this case, the Azure CLI with the proper credentials. This command will identify all of the storage accounts used on the tables of the workspace for later grants. Once we have executed this command, we can move on to the next one, the migrate credentials command. This, like the rest, will work differently on each cloud. For Azure, it will create a new access connector for each of the storage accounts detected previously. This is optional, but recommended. This will also migrate any Azure service principles with storage blob data contributor, data reader, data owner roles on any ADLS Gen2 locations being used on Databricks to Unity Catalog storage credentials. After this process is completed, those respective storage credentials will be created on the Databricks site and available for use. Moving on to the migrate locations command, this one will take the output of the assessment and the migrate credentials command to create all of the required external locations pointing to the right storage accounts and storage credentials used and created in the previous step. You can validate the external locations that will be created by using the validate external locations command. The final step is to execute the create Uber principle command. This will create an Azure service principle with read-only access to the detected storage accounts. The migration workflows will use this service principle to ensure UCX has access to the data. Now that we understand the process and what it does, let's start executing the commands. First, let's run the principal prefix command. Again, I'm using custom authentication profile that has access to my workspace. For this set of commands, we also have to specify the subscription ID or IDs where our storage accounts are located. I executed the command, so now it's using my Azure CLI authentication, making sure that I have access, and then executing the commands. In this case, once it's finished executing, we can move on to the next one, the migrate credentials command. So let's give this a second. Again, this will take some time depending on your configuration of the workspace, how many assets you have and how many objects it has to go through. So now we can move on to the next one, migrate credentials command. Again, I'm specifying the subscription IDs and my authentication profile. Once this command is completed, we'll be able to see a new access connector or multiple in our resource group, as well as the storage credential on the Databricks side. First, we need to confirm if we, need, if we want to create an access connector for each storage account. This is what I mentioned that it's optional, but recommended. So let's say yes. This is going to proceed with that step creating those access connectors in my research group, in this case, just one. And then it's going to ask me if I want to migrate my service principles as well. In this case, I don't have any, so it will say that it found zero. So I can just proceed saying that I don't want to migrate anything. And then the execution is complete. So now if we check, we can see on the workspace, we have a new storage credential. And this storage credential is pointing to a new access connector. So if we go to Azure and refresh, we'll be able to see that storage access connector created on the Azure side with a tag that says created by UCX. Great, now we have the storage credentials, so we need to create the external locations. Let's run the appropriate command. In this case, we have to execute the migrate locations using the correct subscription again and the profile for authentication of the workspace. For this one, we can also check the workspace once execution is finished, and we should be able to see a new external location pointing to this storage account that I'm using for the demo, 
and using the storage credential that was created in the previous step. So let's check it out. Let's go back. And we'll see now that we have a new external location that's pointing to my container and storage account and that it's using my storage credential that I created in the previous step. Finally, the last command that we'll use in this video will be the create doer principle. So let's run that. For this command, we can also check that the correct changes were performed on the Azure side. As I said and explained on the presentation, this will create a new service principle on the tenant. So if we go to the tenant after this is created, right now it's asking me for a name. I'll just leave it as default. After this is created, we can see the confirmation. So we can go to the tenant, refresh, and now we have that service principle. Again, this service principle will have access to my storage account or storage accounts, and it's the one that's going to be used for the migration of the tables in the migration workflows. In the next video, we'll finish the table migration flow to complete the migration from Hive Metastore into Unity Catalog. Thank you.